Seminole High graduate Jensen Van Ember has overcome some incredible odds. He was paralyzed at birth. His spine needed 31 screws and two metal rods to keep it straight. But as Spectrum Sports 360's Olivia Stacy explains, none of that has stopped him from becoming one of the best in the world in his sport. Table tennis requires focus and a high level of stamina. And it's exhausting a lot of times. It's cold, cold day. He has to play against the big guys, strong guys moving around. Jensen Van Emberg doesn't give up. It's what's allowed him to become one of the best table tennis players in the world. When he has something they don't have, he brings that his tenacity, his fights, smartness, you know, never give up. That fight is something Jensen has had from the very start. for life it's been difficult to see your son go through you know um, medical issues and situations but we never look back and um, you know my point of view is he's never looked back Jensen tried many sports before he found his passion for table tennis at nine years old started off okay but then by the end of the week of the tournament I was like beating everyone all the kids that were playing so I'm like oh wow I'm actually not bad at this now he's number 11 in the world in his class and the top ranked junior in all wheelchair categories. Jensen gets his competitive drive from his father, who was a tennis pro, making it to the semifinals in Wimbledon. I've always instilled him that, you know, hey, listen, you're, you know, you're doing it from a chair and, you know, you're using wheels and that's okay. He's had a long road of medical obstacles, overcoming each one with a positive attitude. You never hear him complain. You know, you never hear him, uh, you know, about some of the situation he has to go through. He just deals with it, puts his head forward and, you know, tries to get through it. But in his junior year of high school, he faced another setback. Jensen had a spinal fusion surgery, which resulted in life threatening complications. In and out of the hospital. And then I even fractured my femur after that. So it's it was a very difficult time, but I always had table tennis in the back of my mind to keep me going and keep going looking forward because I still had my eye on Tokyo 2020. His perseverance has paid off. Jensen qualified for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. Even though people say like, oh, you're disabled, oh, you can't do this or that. I'm like, I mean, I've proven everyone wrong that I can and I'm going to keep proving them wrong. His goal for Tokyo is to win a gold medal but Jensen has already left his mark on the sport and beyond. Just the way he is and the way he carries himself and the things that he's had to overcome, that's where I'm, you know, the most proud. It's a character, you know, it's just it's there. You have or you don't have, and he has it. A lifelong dream to represent the United States and athletes who have overcome incredible odds. It feels very good. I'm very, very proud to represent the U.S. and have the honor to represent my country. I never would dream of it, but sometimes dreams come true. In Largo, Olivia Stacy for Spectrum Sports 360.